What is the speed of light? Well, it's a big number, 299792458 meters per second. That is a big number of meters per second. Actually, there's a decimal here and so on. So uh, this is truncated already. But anyway, a very, very large number of meters per second. So in physics and in science in general, we just round it to 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Because if you put a decimal here and move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then there you get your exponent of 8 and you round this to, to a 3. So 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Now, it is impossible for me and impossible, I think, for you, any of us humans, to truly understand how fast that actually is. Okay, it is absolutely, in my opinion, impossible. If you tell me you think you know how fast it is, I just think you're probably mistaken. But maybe there's somebody out there that really can. I don't know, but I've never met anybody that can. 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second is so fast, that means that a photon can travel around the planet in one second. Not once, not twice, not three times or four times, seven times in one second. That means this is about a second. One, two, three, four, five. Every snap of my fingers, a photon could travel seven times around the planet. 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 Times around the planet. That is incredibly fast, right? It's so fast that even though uh, uh, with the stars being as, 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 the closest star close to us, would still take light f over four light years to get there. And the speed of light is really, really, really fast. And for it to still take four years to get to the nearest star tells us two things. Speed of light is really fast, but the stars are very far away from us. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.